welcome back to my channel i'm super excited for the month of october and to see what's in store for us guys um today i wanted to do a aries full moon check-in though so that we can get a sense of how this aries full moon is going to affect us it's so funny how we closed off the previous month september with a full moon and then transitioning into this month we're going to have a libra solar eclipse that's going to happen in the, the middle of this month and everything so yeah um i'm super excited you know i'm an aries so i definitely wanted to do a spread to see how this aries full moon is going to affect you guys and also me because you know i'm i'm nosy too <laughs> so let's go ahead and get straight into the reading also if you do enjoy my readings and you love to see my face here on the channel and you want to see future videos from me make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell also hit the like button if you do enjoy this reading and leave me a comment below okay i love to chat with you guys you guys know we you know kiki have fun on my lives so of course i want to chat with you guys in the comments so leave me a comment below let me know what type of videos you want to see this month how you felt about this forecast um if it was helpful and i will leave any important links that you need like to book a personal reading with me um below all right but let's go ahead and switch the camera around so we can go ahead and get into this juiciness all right capricorns let's see what's going on so what does the aries full moon look like for my capricorns what does this aries full moon look like for my capricorns okay so where you should focus your energy we have the seven of cups how you're currently showing up. We have the death card. How this Aries full moon is asking you to show up. We got the ten of pentacles. How will the, oh, what you need to cut off, excuse me, this full moon. We have the six of wands. How this Aries full moon will affect you. We have the strength card. Possible challenge you may have to face. We have the three of cups. What you may not see, we have the crown of pinnacle, excuse me, and then the outcome, we have the tower. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, before we get into the actual spread, I want to pull an oracle card and get into that message and then we'll cover these cards. What's the energy around my Capricorns for this Aries full moon? So we have rescue. So I actually got the same oracle card for... I think it was Taurus. I can't quite remember exactly the sign, but I think it was Taurus or Scorpio. But with the rescue card showing up, this is this is a sign that the divine is there to support you in moments where you don't have everything figured out. Also, if you are in a space where you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it, especially if you have people around you who are willing to support you, who are willing to be there for you in any way that you may be needing help. Um, this is not the time to be prideful. This is not the time to be scared to ask for that support if that's what you need. Okay. Also, when it comes to getting out of any scenario where you may have felt victimized like a relationship where you may have been you know treated wrong or circumstances where you were just treated wrong this is the time where you can rewrite that history or turn that experience into something that essentially saves you in the sense where you change your view your perspective completely or change or make changes in general, and you could be seeing personal growth from that, okay? Let me read this really quick. So the rescue card, let me just read this quote. It says, you always, no, you are always, excuse me, you are always safe and secure and free to be yourself. Asking for help isn't easy for many successful people. However, that's what you need to do now as you expand your life. If you, I'm sorry guys. This is bothering me. Okay. So if you find yourself troubled, you can expect help with whatever issue is at hand right now. You need only ask and assistance will come your way. 
The most important support you can expect is from spirit. Get into the right relationship with the divine and you'll see that many conditions line up as if by magic to provide you with the help that you need. Ask and you receive. This is not a time to be fearful. Safety is a place within. So, yeah, this is also a reminder that there is no need for you to worry about your future because I think the divine is going to be showing you signs or moving you in the right direction, essentially. So let's get into the rest of the cards. So the first card we have here represents where you should focus your energy. Now with the Seven of Cups, this could be many creative endeavors that you may have. Uh, you could be someone, of course, who's multifaceted. You could have different interests and you're having to essentially like prioritize and make sure you're not like scattered in your energy especially if you're trying to make money from this but not only that if there is this mixed emotion or like you having moments where you're extremely confused or you don't really know what direction you're going in in terms of like a business or a creative project really sitting down and quieting the mind and kind of going into that space of the imagination okay because the seven of cups is tapping into that neptunian energy so you guys need to tap into dreaming big <laughs> instead of you know thinking small also with the seven of cups if there is any emotional confusion in regards to a romantic connection focusing on working through your emotions may also be important during this time frame okay working through these mixed emotions these highs and lows you could be experiencing in the process of healing or trying to work out your relationship or in the midst of being in a relationship just in general also if there has been any substance abuse issues like maybe drinking smoking whatever it may be Taking some time to detox the mind so that you can see clearly because that could be a source of confusion as well. You could be trying to sort out things and make strategic plans, but having a hard time maybe executing it or staying focused due to like distractions or like I said, substance abuse. And also this is time to weed out distractions, like I said, but moving into how you're showing up in life. Let's, let's look at that. So we have the death card. So you could be trying to make changes in your life and you are naturally going through changes. With these changes, it's requiring you though to leave behind maybe certain defense mechanisms that you may have had before. So say you were dealing with an ex who was a liar or a cheater or whatever. And now with that relationship being done, you could have the chance to you know meet someone new, connect with someone new, and there could still be this challenge with adapting to the fact that you're dealing with a whole nother person so you may be needing to let go of certain ways of approaching your relationships due to what you've been through previously for example but yes uh what is what is um the energy you're showing up in with the death card you're making changes you're seeing what needs to change just in general now how is the universe asking you to show up better in your life or how can you show up better through this uh, Aries full moon so with the ten of Pentacles this is focusing on your foundation this could be your living situation your home cultivating like a home environment that feels safe for you even if it's not the most comfortable like say you have family that lives with you that's a little bit you know stressful or they give you added stress or let's say you're in the process of trying to move or you're just trying to focus on your long-term wealth, like your, your foundation, the legacy that you're leaving behind, just the level of stability that you have. This is the time for you guys to really focus on the big picture, okay? Especially, I'm also seeing that some of you guys are wanting to get married. If marriage, building a family is in the cards for you or something that you want, this is the time for you guys to take yourself a lot more serious and cultivate things in your life that's going to add stability in the long term for you. Now, what needs you or what do you need to release during this Aries full moon? So I have the six of wands representing that. So you may be needing to release somebody who could be very desperate for attention at times. They could do things to try to get your attention 
or to like show off, okay? I would also say pretty much anything that's keeping you from your personal success, anybody who could be doubting your plans or telling you otherwise in terms of, you know, keeping going on your creative endeavors, cutting that out too, any distractions that could be keeping you from focusing on your, your sense of success or what you're trying to work on here. Hmm. Now, going into how this Aries full moon will affect you, I have the strength card. So there could be something significant with the Leo that comes up, but if not a Leo, with the strength card, uh, this could be you having to really hold yourself back <laughs> from maybe responding or reacting a certain way. There could be certain people during this Aries full moon who could definitely try it. So you may have to be tempered in your response or the way that you go about maybe addressing things or um, handling things so that things are not so tense. Sorry. Also with the strength card being here, I think that this full moon is going to give you a level of resilience, strength, determination to keep going. Okay, you guys, like I said, could learn true mastery around like self-control in general, whether this is around like, again, addictions, uh, staying away from somebody who you know is bad for you, like basically removing yourself from things that you know are not necessarily good for you is what you could be learning to do during this full moon or just tapping into. Now, let's get into the possible challenge. I have the three of cups here. So the challenge could be certain friends around you. You could question like, hmm, are they actually a genuine friend or do they have other intentions behind their friendship with you? Especially if there is something to gain um, socially or if not gain, it could just be certain actions that they take that just makes you question like, okay, is this a genuine friendship? And again, this may be one of the scenarios where you may have to really hold yourself back from going there. Now, hmm, another possible challenge, you could be wanting to like have fun, do fun stuff, but there could be like responsibilities that are just kind of annoying or You could be reconciling with an ex and it could just be kind of like a mess since you guys reconciled because you or this person's family or friends may not necessarily like you or you may not necessarily like them. Like it, it could be one of those scenarios. Um, also, the challenge may be feeling like people around you are happy for you. You could feel like you're, you know, doing your thing and then certain people are just not happy for you or they give off this, this vibe of maybe being jealous. So again, be, oh, be mindful of people who could be this way towards you. Now, what do you don't see or what are you not seeing? I have the crone of pinnacles. So what you may not be seeing, this is a time where you guys need to really be like grounded. This is not the time to be uh, doing things that are kind of like risky. I don't think that this is the vibe of this Aries full moon for you guys. I think that spirit is definitely urging for you guys to be grounded, really take time to focus on your uh, material responsibilities or financial responsibilities, and also just being mindful around spending and also who you trust. Are you giving certain individuals the wrong information or information that they should know about you, whether it's financial, okay? And just mainly putting yourself as a priority is, is the message with this card. And what you don't see, there could be a shift around your finances pretty soon. If you have been having some difficulties around money, things could be shifting around that. Now, the outcome... I have the tower. So there could be something that gets brought to the fore, uh, for something could be brought to the forefront that could be shocking. Now, this could be a shocking revelation. This could be a shocking conversation. This could be a shocking event. And when I say shocking, I don't mean bad. It can be good and it also could be bad. Okay. But with the tower, there's some sort of shock that could come out of this 
Aries full moon energy, you could probably look at somebody differently or you could be shocked that you feel like this drive and this desire to maybe get back into your creative endeavors after maybe feeling stuck for a minute. Okay, so you could be feeling very inspired, to say the least, very inspired. But this is what I'm seeing. And also with the tower, you could be seeing what is unstable in your life. Like if there has been some things that maybe haven't been the strongest in terms of your foundation or whatnot, um, you could be seeing like, okay, no, I really need to buckle down with this. I really need to handle this. Okay, but this is what I'm seeing. I hope that this did give you some insight on the Aries full moon. If you did take something from this reading or if you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye Capricorns.